folks, welcome to the channel. This is what happens when you become too famous and spoiled. It's even worse if you haven't got a mature brain. For too long, Ryan Garcia has been pampered and allowed to get away with his antics in public and on social media. This latest incident proves that he's not a mature young man, and fame has finally gone to his head. He kept quiet for a while after Tank Davis knocked him down, but then he took the fight with David Haney and started acting strangely. It's one thing to hype a fight to sell tickets, but Ryan took it too far. Weeks before the fight, he began to brag and exhibit bizarre behavior showing the world a side of him that's out of control. With no one to rein him in or tell him he's wrong, Ryan Garcia lacks the intelligence to see the consequences of his action. He makes strange remarks, including racist comments, and the people around him laugh and encourage his behavior. He frowns on attention. Ryan is probably looking for attention. Being young and having a huge following that looks up to him, he loves the spotlight and sees no harm in his actions. Many young people exhibit racist and strange behavior in private, but unfortunately Ryan does it on social media. TikTok is full of these trends, so it's no surprise Ryan follows them to fit in with his followers. But unfortunately for Ryan, he doesn't understand, and that he's in the public eye, and whatever he says or does will be heard and seen. Remember Bernard Hawkins saying, no white woman will beat me? And there was few others, more racist comments in the past that was made by famous boxers that was below the belt. Who is Ryan's promoter? Bernard Hopkins. Ryan isn't the only one in combat sports making racist remarks. He just got caught. This has nothing to do with boxing, or does it? Does his loss to Devin Haney and his resentment towards black and Muslim people play a role? Be real. If you were in Ryan's shoes, you feel resentful too. Is David Haney Muslim? Let's forget whether he took drugs or not. That's another issue. We'll come to that in a minute. As far as he knows, he won the fight and got stripped of the win. And he isn't getting paid either. Plus a £10,000 fine. Well, I will be resentful too. I'm sure he didn't mean to include all black or Muslim people in his racist remark. But when he mentioned George Floyd, the black man killed by police, for me, that's when he crossed the line. Then he tried to retract his comment and apologize. But it was too late. He spread all over the social media. Ryan Garcia is a spoiled and pampered young man, surrounded by yes men and friends who enable his behavior, just like Elvis Presley. So what next for Ryan? He's been caught red-handed, and this isn't the only incident. He's been acting like a kid seeking attention and losing to David Haney made him resentful. Before the Haney fight, he was probably on drugs and alcohol, just like now. Listen to him on social media. His behavior and speech suggest he's on something. When he crossed the line with the remarks about George Floyd, there's no going back in my book. All signs point to Ryan being under the influence before the Haney fight, and now on something even stronger. We've seen and heard worse than what Ryan said, especially at football matches and at the pub. Okay, he apologized, but it's too late. Everyone has their opinions. Mine is open because of the reasons I stated. But when he mentioned George Floyd, he crossed the line. Any comments, leave them below. See you next time and thanks for watching.